So, Jed, crew away, one of the biggest challenges at the moment, I guess. Yeah, it's going to be a really tough game. They're on a great run, so it's going to be hard for us. But we've got a good game plan. We're going to go there, give it our best shot and see what happens. In a sense, are they really a, a model for succeeding in sort of League 2 and League 1? Yeah, they've always been. Uh, obviously, the, the selling club crew, uh, crew they back, get players in, do really well, get them in the first team, and move them on and make money. That's how they survive. And I think if all the other clubs look at the way they, they do it, obviously, that, you're right, they, they are a model for it. There's been a run of Saturday, Tuesday games, but you've had a week off. Has that been good this week? Yeah, it's been nice to get on the training pitch and practice a few things. Obviously, when crews coming up, have um, been doing a lot of shape on how to play against them. So we'll be well prepared for Saturday's game. When you look back on the Grimsby game, the draw, how do you reflect on it now? Very disappointing, to be honest. Um, obviously, we can see the really early doors in the game, which which wasn't great. But we show good character again, as we have done of, of, of late. And we should have won the game in the end but comfortably. But looking at the chance they missed late on, I didn't see it on the day, but I've watched it on video. I couldn't believe they missed it. But So to get away with the points in the end of it, we were happy in the end. That coming from behind can be a good thing, can't it, psychologically? But you don't want to get into the habit of it, do you, going behind? Definitely not. We don't want to concede any goals at all. So, obviously, chasing the game is not what we want to do. We want to build our way into the game and, obviously, counter-attack teams and play with pace up in their half. And, obviously, we don't want to keep trying to come from behind all the time because sometimes teams will just shut you up and you won't get near them. I suppose you are upset a bit, weren't you, because of David Tutonda being suspended and that, that affected things, I guess, at the back. Yeah, David's a big loss for us. He's a great player, especially going forward as well. He, he's, he's really good for us. But the lads who come in all done really well. So it's a squad game, and as I've been saying, and we've been mixing the team late, of late anyway. So it, it's one of those. It's going to happen during the season. You're going to lose players through injuries and suspensions. You just have to uh, bear with it and keep going. One positive was Guion Edwards' contribution, wasn't it? He started the game and was man of the match. He was, he was outstanding, he was head and shoulders when he was, he was a top performance. We all know he's a top player, we've just got to manage him properly and get it in. Obviously got a lot of games come up again, Tuesday, Tuesday, Saturday game, so we'll have to watch what we do with them. But and I guess player. with the run-in, that kind of experience is important that he brings as well. Definitely, yeah, he, he should see him in the change room, he's great with all the young lads, he's put his arm around and telling them what position to go and giving them advice all the time. Not just them, we've got Donald and JJ won't be far away as well, maybe a month's time, so it'll be a good time to get them back as well. All right, so a, a month or so for Donald and JJ? I'd say maybe two, three weeks to start training and then obviously to see how they get on from there, yeah, so probably a month, maybe just a bit longer. And what about the other injury situations? Jed Garner didn't feature again at the weekend, did he? Jed's fifth for tomorrow, so that's good news. Um, Jay Taylor's still struggling with his tie. So, besides him, um, Stewie, the big keeper, he's, out, he's still out till he'll be the end of the season, but besides that, we're, fully, we're full strength. So, end of the season now for Stuart, is it? That, that's it, is it all? He, well, if we get him back before, that would be a bonus. Uh, in my head, it's the end of the season, but he, he thinks he'll be the last four or five games, which will be great if he does, so let's just wait and see on that. Tuesday night's fixtures without you playing actually went pretty well, didn't they? They did, yeah. A lot of draws and um, obviously Atkinson got beat by um, Warsaw, which put them, uh, gave them a few points ahead of us. But besides that, they went quite well, yeah. Some surprising results again on Tuesday night and just goes to show what this league is all about at the minute. That Sutton winning at Notts County, Forest Green drawing with Wrexham. I've just been talking to Les, the kit man, and we've been talking about this league. It's just crazy. Everyone's beating everyone. So that's why you've got to have belief in going to each game, knowing that you, you can beat any team in the league. And obviously, on the day, we're a, we're a good match for anyone. So tomorrow, we'll be full of confidence going into that game against crew. We've got nothing to lose. So we'll just go and enjoy it. It's amazing how tight it is still, isn't it? That that very small gap between such yeah. a large number of teams. Yeah, I think it goes down to 16, 17, whatever, three-point gap. So tomorrow, we, we could end up right down there. So we'll we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we get a win and put us right up there. And as you said, Warsaw, a really good example. A couple of wins and, and you're right back up again, aren't you? Yeah, we played ball, so we got beat 3-0, but we should have. it was never a 3-0 game and we should have got a lot more out of the game. So you look at you look at them, I think it's four on the bounce of one now. We've been on a good run with it, a little stumbling block, but if we can go back on that like a run like we did, we'll be right back in the mix. So what's the secret from here on in? Is it holding your nerve? Is it, as you mentioned, Guion's experience, players like that, people who've been there before? How do you best get the opportunity of ending up in those playoff spots? I think the hardest part is keeping everyone fit. I think if you get a full full squad, full fit squad, you've got a great chance. And I think a team like us with a small squad of 22, 23, 
if we get five injuries in that, it's going, it's going to hurt us badly. But as I say, if we can keep them all fit, I think that's 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 a secret, really. Yeah, so that's your concern still, is squad depth, really? Yeah, yeah. it's not just us, it's other clubs around us as well. They'll be on the same boat, so it is what it is. You've just got to get on with it. Get money for your old phone.